Hello, and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Jeannie Shoesmith, and I'm a director in corporate ratings at Standard & Poor's. I'd like to discuss Clear Channel's recently announced debt, debt issuance and how it impacts our analysis. We explore our base case, upside and downside scenarios, and more in a Frequently Asked Questions article published on Standard & Poor's Global Credit Portal. Clear Channel's note issuance is its latest step in refinancing about $14 billion of debt over the last couple of years. This progress significantly reduced their near-term refinancing risk and puts them in a position where they could be able to meet their debt obligations for the next several years, barring a recession. We expect that the company could, could uh, continue to refinance remaining 2016 maturities, giving them a few years of runway to grow the business and reduce leverage from the currently very high levels of nine times. For the first time, Clear Channel's 2016 maturities are declining to levels that approach the company's cash and ABL capacity. Our triple C plus rating and negative outlook on the company reflect our expectation that liquidity will remain very tight. We expect that discretionary cash flow deficits in the range of 125 million to 175 million will continue to put pressure on liquidity. If these don't, if these trends don't reverse, we could lower our rating on the company if a, if a default or distressed debt exchange become inevitable. That brings me to our downside scenario. We expect that an economic decline coupled with secular pressure on radio ad revenue could cause a cash default in as little as 12 months from the beginning of a recession. We explore what an economic decline that causes radio revenue to contract by 5% looks like in terms of liquidity and Standard & Poor's ratings on the company. Is there any hope for Clear Channel? Possibly, but it really requires the wind to be at their backs. They have a number of growth and expense initiatives underway, and if credit markets remain receptive, they could, they could actually re reprice some of their debt to realize some savings. Under our upside scenario, which we go into greater detail in our Frequently Asked Questions article, we, we envision what it might take for us to raise the rating to the single B category, and beyond that, what it might take to get the company's capital structure to a place of long-term viability. Thank you for joining us for Credit Matters TV. For more information, please see our Frequently Asked Questions article published on Standard & Poor's Global Credit Portal.